We are with uh, Steve Newen. He is with Hackman Financial, and he's been uh, gracious enough to spend some time with us. Um, but I'm going to come at you with, we'll st- uh, with like we talked about the young family, the Dave Ramsey. So I'm going to assume, and then maybe you can throw a couple more. The I'm going to assume that a young family approaches you. They they're looking for a financial advisor. You 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 agree to work with them. My guess and it's how much do I need to retire? How much house can I afford? Uh, and how much? How many? How much of a loan can I take out on a car? Mm. I'm gonna assume those are three. I may be way off. I'm gonna guess the how much I need for retirement's got to be the number one question for a young family. Maybe not. That's probably the number one question for everybody. Is it? Because that's the plan. No matter what happens, like some people have kids, some people don't. So right. college doesn't come into play. Uh, some people will go through divorces, and then the first question is, "Well, I just lost half my 401k. How do I retire?" Right. So there's retirement is clearly the number one question that I probably deal with every day. Okay. So the question of how much to retire with, you know, it's, it's a it's a very by the person answer, uh, and the reason why is because some people will retire to their home in Florida. Some people will retire to their part time job. Some people will retire to working remotely. Some people will retire. So I've always told people. Retirement definition has changed, especially since now we can all work remotely. Mm-hmm. And so you can actually work on a part-time basis and still be retired. No because doubt. It's, it's a lot easier to still enjoy your years and your senior years, but still be productive. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so retirement defined by the person is what matters. That's the first thing an advisor like myself would ask is try to figure out what this picture looks like for Mike, mm-hmm. what this picture looks like for a Steven, what this picture looks like for a Steve, um, before I start defining how do we get that roadmap to get to where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Now, if you went into a financial calculator, they would tell you you need 70% typically of your pre-retirement income lasting you for the existence of your life. Well, 70% of, let's say you make 100000 yeah. that means you need 70000 Okay, how many years are you going to live in retirement? It's the next question. I live for 30 years. Well, that's $2.1 million, real quickly. So that kind of gives you how that works. So, so, so from a I don't know if he's texting or checking your math. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to assume you're right. <laughs> so, so when you think of it that way, um, you come to some conclusions of what to work. Mm-hmm. Um, I try to create a goal number for folks. Yeah. And then I work it backwards so they know how much they need to save to get to that goal number. Are people living longer? Definitely. Well, you think that, do you think we'll continue to live longer? I hope so. And I think, I think with science, with people being more aware of their health, I think so. I would say if, not that I, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. I would say I hear a lot of like my parents' generation, their biggest fear is outliving their money. Would you agree with that? I think everybody does have that fear. Yeah. Uh, because it, since we're living longer, it costs more in no doubt. senior years. So yeah, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that we are always fearful of that. You know, there's some rules of thumbs in that world, right? Yeah. There's some people that say you can do certain things like 3% of your um, savings you can pull out and draw on that and never run out of money. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Because the marketplace moves the way it moves. Um, so there's some rules of thumbs and all you can do again is to set a plan, set a goal, follow the plan and adjust because life is fluid. Yeah. You know, I, that's why I always tell people don't be so set on retirement means I'm not working anymore. Okay. You can choose that, but you right. have to understand that your savings has to match that. Right. And so if it doesn't, then you have to be fluid enough to say, well, maybe I'll work at Walmart. Maybe I'll be a, uh, yeah. a, a ranger in a golf course. Um, you know, that's, a few what dollars here. that's what yeah. we're thinking, right? Yeah. That's that's every guy's dream, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> so they get a free, job. free free golf. <laughs> that's I have an uncle. That's what he does it for. Yeah, he does so, it for free golf. So there's no doubt retirement is is probably the number one question that that most people ask. And the, the, the answer to your question of how much very difficult to answer. It's by yeah. the person. It's the lifestyle they live. It's what they were used to, quite frankly, before they retired. That's really the yeah. indicator of what happens in your retirement years. My name is Steve Nguyen. I'm a partner at Hackman Financial, and we are a financial advising firm, independent registered investment advisors. Um, So you can reach me at 513-891-5300.